Thanks for checking out this video on the Suva Beauty UV Taffy's Cake Liner Palette, which is part of their Hydra Effects collection. I'll share my swatches and some looks I attempted to do with the palette with this review and include some dark light shots so you can see how well the UV glow came out. Before that, I'm going to share some quick info about Suva Beauty. It's named after the capital city in Fiji, which is a beautiful country in the South Pacific, where its founder and CEO, Shayna Azad, is from. And the brand represents her imaginative, fun, quirky style. Suva Beauty is based in Canada, where Shayna has done TV makeup artistry and media work. But for many of my UK and European friends, you can get many of the Suva Beauty products on beautybay.com, which is based in the UK, so you can save a bit more on the shipping and you wouldn't be paying customs. Please check out my description box for this. They've stated they're cruelty free, but they're not listed with Peta or Leaping Bunny at the time of this video. But Cruelty Free Kitty have also confirmed that they are cruelty free based on their criteria. I'll leave a link to this here. So without further ado, let's have a look at this palette. This is their first palette of cake liners along with the brights, as they're usually sold as singles. Just a note, they're not gel liners or waterproof given they're water activated. I'll quickly show you how to apply them later. They're kind of pastel neon colours that are also designed to glow under UV light. And yes, of course, this is exactly the type of thing that would entice me to this. Another bonus is that it includes a brush. I'll use this for the looks I'll create. These are what the pans look like under the black light. And so far, the yellow, green and pink give off the best UV glow. I'll now share my swatches and compare them between the natural light and black light. So just quickly to apply the cake liner, wet the brush, dip into the pan and mix to get that Goldilocks consistency. How the swatches look like under the black light. You can see the blue swatch come out a little bit more here and even a tad bit more of the purple. As you can see here with my vigorous rubbing that it's definitely transfer proof as advertised. Here are the looks I attempted to create and I really mean attempted. I don't really use cake liners often. My hand is always wobbly. So I'll give you the gist of how I actually did it, but I won't talk to you to watch it all the way through because it took me ages. I had a bright idea and thought I'd try using this as a mascara and see how that comes out as a UV glow. Here's the first look. I did end up recoating the lashes with a normal mascara and then topping it with a cake liner. I'm not sure how this looks for the natural light, but I did want to see how it would look like in the black light. You can see I applied too much liner in blue and purple, so you can see it's crusting up. I think I applied the pink and yellow okay, so they turned out not so bad. Here's what it looks like under the UV glow. I actually thought it turned out pretty well. If I found it easier to apply rather than being a beginner, I think it would have performed much better and more even. Here's the second look and I used a bit of inspiration from a talented UK YouTuber called Tammy Clark who I'll link here.
And that's the second look. In this version, I just experimented a bit and just took it around the whole eye. Here's how it looks under the black light. I think all of the shades come out pretty well, to be honest. Here comes the third look and for this one I just thought I'd try a simple liner with some normal makeup. It'll be a little bit subtle just to see how this would look and if this would show up as much. That's the third look, very simple. Here's how it looks in the black light and I think it's still pretty decent. It's a thin pink line and it's still visible. So my final thoughts is that this palette is really good, it's a fun set of cake liners to play around with. I'd definitely say these are bright neons, they're definitely transfer proof and they give off a really good UV glow. I'm not an experienced cake line user so the consistency of the product probably reflects that. So in that respect I think it's still easy to use and you can easily get it to a thin or thicker consistency with some good practice. I think the brush is a very good bonus. But I think for finer details and a steadier hand, you could probably find a thinner brush. But the one included is still really good and you can really do a nice simple line with that. In terms of whether it's worth it, you do get less than the single Hydro FX liners at 10 grams. You get these at 2 grams each. If you feel like you won't use that much cake liner for a 10 gram single shadow and you want to play around with other colours, I think this palette is ideal. It's one of the reasons I think this palette is ideal for me because I like using different colours for different looks. I also feel like if I use this palette enough, I will hit pan on it. So those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Do you use cake liners much? What type of cake liner do you like? Does this one interest you? Comment below and thanks for watching.